as you are seeing this video, I am now officially 19 years old. One step closer to 20, and I am... I feel older. <laughs> I feel older, despite the fact I'm not that old. But, um, enjoy the video. I filmed this one yesterday, and it was actually a really fun one to make. I was a bit tired, so if it comes across that way, that's why. Um... Yeah, it's 8 o'clock in the evening now, and I'm tired. I don't know. But, um, enjoy the video. Alright, so, hello everyone. And this is my second video that I'm filming today. As I'm filming this, it's the 24th of January. Because tomorrow I will not be able to upload. I won't be able to film and edit, so I'm going to have to film another video today. And I'm very, very exhausted from my video I did earlier. But I gotta keep up that daily upload schedule because I don't know, a video a day is always a good idea. So today I'm gonna be showing you my updated ELP collection, ELP being Emerson Lake and Palmer. And yeah, this is everything ELP that I own, CDs, vinyl, whatever. So um, I'm gonna go from the beginning. Or well, anything ELP related, whether that be, you know, solo stuff or whatever. But. Um, I have a lot, so bear with me. There's a lot of stuff I'm probably going to show in haul videos, so you're probably going to see them twice, but that doesn't matter. Let's just, let's just get on with it. Uh, as I said, I love ELP very, very much. They're one of my favourite bands at the moment. I've got a poster of them up there from the Brain Salad Surgery uh, album. I've got some, um, like, magazine cutouts of them on that wall, that side there. And I have a poster of them from the Fanfare box set. I'm not putting that up though. I'm preserving that. Because otherwise it will compensate the album. So let's just get on with it. There is never going to be a point that I don't shut up about ELP because I just love them that much. I don't seem to shut up about them a lot these days. I kind of just let myself ramble on about um, how much I love them. How much I think that weirdly underrated. Not in necessarily in the prog community, just in the kind of general music communi community. Enough of me talking about myself, let's talk about Emerson, Lake and Palmer, because that's what this video is about. Let's start. So we have the self-titled first album. This is not a reissue, just an old copy. Sounds great though. Pictures at an exhibition. Great album. I haven't actually had the time to spin this yet. Might do that later. Might do that later. Speaking of Tarkus, Tarkus, I've played this many a time. Aha, this is one that I got in very recently. This is um, Emerson Lake and Palmer live at Ma Soul in 1972. Uh, this is great, I love this. It's uh, first side is Tarkus and then the second side is uh, Pictures and Exhibition. Uh, trilogy, one of my favorite album covers and I think I explained why in one of my previous videos. Great album though. This is a record store day release. This is Emerson Lake and Palmer live 1972 at Pocono International Raceway. And I think I mentioned this in my collection video, but I did not mention that it was on colored vinyl. So this is the gatefold and it's on colored vinyl. One disc is yellow and one disc is brown, I believe. This is the yellow one. It's like a pale yellow rather than like a lemony kind of yellow. And this is the brown one. Another great live album. Another one I got in fairly recently. So I actually have two copies of Brain Salad Surgery. Despite the fact it's not even my favourite ELP album. It's one of them, but it's not my number one. But I have got two copies. This is just the LP. And this one is a box set. So this has got CDs and the vinyl inside. I think it's a anniversary box set. But this is very cool. And I do like it a lot. Next we have the ELP live in Milan, 1973. This is actually part of the Fanfare box set. 1970 to 97. This is not sold separately from what I can see on Discogs, but this is a very, very good live album. This also opens out in like a threefold. It actually, it actually split the, um, outer sleeve because it's such a thick album but it opens out like so and I think this is probably one of my favorite live albums of theirs actually because 
I guess the time when it came out, you know, some good stuff had just been released. Welcome back my friends to the show that never ends. This is a live album and one of my favorite things about this one is just the triple gatefold. I think this looks very cool. Uh, actually, a little story about this copy that I've got. So I remember buying it and we waited like two weeks for it. And the problem with that is that usually it wouldn't matter, but it was coming from the UK and it took longer than most of the albums we had bought from Europe, which really confused me. And it came and the actual like sleeves were like down the middle, well not down the middle, like the glue either side kind of sticks it together was just kind of came off and the thing just flipped in half so I actually had to glue that inner sleeve back together which was a bit a massive massive effort because I had waited two weeks for that album for it to arrive in a dodgy condition. Next we have Works Volume 1 and Works Volume 2. This one's like a gatefold but this one's not. I actually really like the gatefold on this one. I, I, I really like this. Oh, if it wants to open for me, that'd be nice. Oop. Out of the two of them, I'd say I prefer Works Volume 1, but I don't really think that's an unpopular opinion. Next is Emerson Lake and Palmer Live in Concert. I got this one in fairly recently. I think this is 1978. I might be wrong. 79. All right. This is a good one. I haven't had a chance to listen to that yet, but I'm excited too. Next is another one that I got in recently, not necessarily Emerson, Lake and Palmer, but it is Emerson, Lake and Powell. And I do love this. I re recently listened to this. I recently got it as well. This is fantastic. Uh, when I got this, actually, the person who sent it to me included some magazine clippings from the time of release of this album, which I thought was very cool. Some interviews with the group and all that. Very, very, very good. I really appreciated that. Next, another live album. This is Emerson, Lake and Palmer live at Waterloo Concert Field. This is 92, so we're jumping quite a bit further in. This is also on colored vinyl. Out of all of them, I think this one might be my favorite colored one. It's like a reddy orange. So the problem with these colored records is that they, that my camera does not do them justice. Like they look so much nicer and like reality, but over the camera, it doesn't look very good. Looks all right, but could look better. This is another recent addition to my record collection. This is Emerson Lake and Palmer live in Switzerland, 97. I love this live album. I think it's one of the best ones. I think it's up there with Welcome Back My Friends. Like this is awesome. I love this. There's, um, Lots of different eras on this, lots of different eras of songs. They even have a Emerson Lake and Powell live uh, version on here of Touch and Go, which is very nice. I like that a lot. Hmm, which one do I do first? And as you guys know, I have the um, the fanfare box set of Emerson Lake and Palmer, which I did a video about. And if you have not seen it, I'll link it up here. And probably my favorite box set. It's got all of their albums in, in here, plus some um, demos, outtakes, live stuff that is not available to the public unless you have this box set also some pictures a book all the goodies that come in a very very nice box set a very hard to find box set um i think i explained in that video how it took us a very long time to find this box set for a good price because it was an exclusive one that came out in 2017 and we got it last year or in 2020 so three years later, obviously you're gonna hang on to this when you have it, because only very few of them were made. So this is number 1610 out of 3000. So only 3000 of these were actually made. And I can hear the CDs rattling around inside here. So I'm gonna put this down now, uh, but very cool box set. If you have it, hang on to it. It's worth a bloody fortune. And lastly, not necessarily ELP, but solo. I got this in very recently, the Greg Lake Anthology. I haven't actually had a chance to listen to this yet. I think I mentioned this in my um, vinyl haul that I did recently. Um, another one of those is coming, by the way. I've just, I've, <laughs> I've ordered a load of stuff recently because we've been doing quite well with the business and all the money that I get in from the business, I put into more records because 
that's where most of my money goes anyway. But anyway, back to this. This is very good. I, I love this a lot. It's got a little compilation of stuff on here, including, you know, some... I think it's got a nice little booklet of stuff. But it's eightfold, I think. Oh, I absolutely... Right, so these are the um, kind of sealable record cases these are not meant for like storing i really don't think they're made for storing i think they're made for packing and posting and we got the wrong ones i think the ones that i have these ones are a lot better because you know it doesn't take me an age to get them out and also that sticky seal will slowly get less sticky so anyway uh just you know looks very nice on the inside I haven't really expressed it much, but I have a fat crush on him. That is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a very, you know, I was taking this down off my shelf and I was struggling. I can't stop buying all these kind of live albums, all these kind of stuff, you know. I'm in a bit of a rabbit hole at the moment of just buying everything that I see. But the thing is, I don't usually buy stuff brand new. I usually buy it either near mint or very good plus because you can actually get some good albums out of there. It doesn't have to necessarily be meant for it to sound good. That's my way of thinking because reissues and sealed stuff is very expensive. It's always, you know, it's easy to obtain, but it's expensive. For example, you know, I could get a near mint copy of, so I got that near mint copy of the um, ELP first album and that didn't cost me that much. I mean, it cost me, um, 15 pounds at most but you know i saw loads of like reissues going up for like 25 plus so you don't need to spend 25 plus on a single lp but because it's that album i probably would um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video i've got plenty of other kind of collection-y kind of stuff that i could do i'm going to do a king crimson one definitely because i've got a lot of king crimson stuff to show you guys and I'm also planning a box set showcase of the Beatles in stereo. If that is something you guys want to see, then let me know. And question of the day, what is your guys' favourite Emerson, Lake and Palmer album or albums? Let me know in the comments section and I will try and reply to you. Have a great day. And if it's snowing where you are in the UK, uh, lucky you, it's actually starting to melt now. Well, uh, while I'm recording this, of course. Bye.